Hello, good afternoon. I come from Cambodia in Southeast Asia. My country has never seen any real election since 1993. For over 40 years, the country has been ruled by the Hun family regime in the shape of Hun San and his son, Hun Manet, who became prime minister last year in 2023. Today, dissent in Cambodia remains impossible. The political opposition and free press are all under attack. But I dared to challenge the regime. And for that, I was continuously attacked. My name is Sam Renzi, and I am the co-founder of the now banned opposition party, the Cambodia National Rescue Party. In March 1997, I led a small peaceful protest march in Cambodia's capital Phnom Penh to protest the lack of independence and corruption in the judiciary. The march was officially authorized in advance but shortly after I addressed the crowd, we were attacked by a group of men throwing live grenades. The attack was intended to kill me, but I survived because my bodyguard, Han Moni, threw himself on top of me. Han Moni died as a result, along with 15 others who included children. More than 100 people were wounded. Street vendors who were not even part of the demonstration had their legs blown off. Eyewitnesses said that police did not help the wounded and dying, but allowed those who had thrown the grenades to escape through the security cordon. Hun San's personal bodyguard unit, Brigade 70, was present at the demonstration for the first time. Their role was not to protect the protesters, but to ensure that the attack was carried out successfully. The American FBI, the Foreign Relations Commission of the American Senate, and other international organizations have all since concluded that Hun Sen's bodyguards unit were responsible for the attack. I have French as well as Cambodian citizenship, and so in recent years, the French courts have investigated the attack. In December 2021, the Tribunal Judiciaire of Paris issued an indictment against the two highest ranking bodyguards of former Cambodian Prime Minister Hun Sen, Hing Bun Hing and Hui Piset, for complicity in attempted assassination. The two bodyguards are due to face trial in Paris this year. Political assassination continue after 1997. Chia Vichia, with whom I had worked 
to create Cambodia's first trade union was wounded in the grenade attack. And he was finally assassinated by the regime in 2004. Chievici's death shows that the attack against me was part of a wider pattern of politically motivated assassinations. At the time of the grenade attack, I had already created my own political party to oppose the regime. In 2012, the Samran Sea Party merged with the Human Rights Party led by Kem Sokha to form the Cambodia National Rescue Party. This was the first United Democratic Opposition Party seen in Cambodia. The CNRP scored 45% in the 2030 national elections despite massive irregularities in favor of the ruling Cambodian People's Party. That 45% score was repeated in the 2017 local elections. Usually, the opposition scored better in national elections than in local ones. A score of 45% at local level showed that the desire for change had penetrated even rural workers and rural voters. The CNRP now was certifiably a threat to the regime as a credible opposition party that stood for freedom and democracy. The only choice for the government was to order the dissolution of the CNRP by the Supreme Court that they controlled in 2017. I was exiled and forbidden from returning to Cambodia. Kem Sokha was sentenced to 27 years in detention on a bogus charge of treason. The national elections of 2017 and 2023 were conducted without any recognized opposition party. Today, dissent in Cambodia remains impossible. Hun Sen handed over power to his son Hun Manet after the 2023 election. Some in the outside world seem to believe that it is worth giving Hun Manet a chance. But the son of a dictator will never change. Hun Manet has vowed to protect the legacy of his father. Hun Manet has not released a single one of Cambodia's political prisoners who total more than 60. Arbitrary seizures of land to forcibly remove people living close to Cambodia's famous Angkor Wat Temple have continued under Hun Manet. Fresh arrests of opposition supporters have continued under Hun Manet, as well as violent assaults including CNRP supporters who have fled to Thailand. But the Cambodian diaspora continues the struggle for democracy under the banner of the newly launched Khmer Movement for Democracy. ខ្មែរដែលភាគខ្លួនក្រៅប្រទេសក្រោយពីរបបវាពិធីដល់ខ្មែរលោកណាត់បានមួយមតិគ្នាជាឯកឈនប្រមូលផ្ដុំបង្
Cambodians, despite everything that has happened, retain their thirst for democracy. Every local and national election since 1993, in which any semblance of a choice was offered, has seen massive turnouts. The government continues to manipulate the elections and stifle the voice of the people. The Cambodian diaspora cannot stand alone. The international community must now respond. International donors must stop giving money to a regime which has abused their good faith. Targeted, coordinated sanctions should be imposed on members of the Hun family and key figures in the regime, such as Ned Savun, the former national police chief, who has now become a deputy prime minister. A coordinated international program of sanctions against the key figures in the regime would show that there can be no business as usual with a blood-stained hereditary dictatorship. Imposing sanctions would also open the possibility of positive incentives for the regime to comply with international standards on human rights. Full trading relationships should only become possible when Cambodia finally embarks on a free and fair elections in which all parties are allowed to compete. Cambodians want the things that people in free countries take for granted. They want to determine their own future, find a path to economic prosperity, and live under a judiciary worthy of the name. Thank you. I would like to acknowledge the presence of my wife, Chulong Somira, in the audience. I can, I can tell you that without her help and our support, I would not be alive now, politically and even physically. Thank you.